Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Kara Fauzan Bir Shadan In this video We are gonna present about The mini project For modern control system That is missile control system What is control system? A control system is a unit Which provide the desired response by controlling the output where the component or process to be controlled can be re represent by a block it shown a processing of the input signal to provide the output signal variable often with the power application missile a guide missile work by tracking the location of the moving target in space by certain method for example using radar or following its heat signature chasing it down and then finally hitting it with accuracy guide guided system is in missile can be various type which serve different operational purpose missile has been around for quite some time now in fact human have been using the missile in very form for century however just as it happened with everything else the technology of missile has also improved dram dramatically over the past century on today high tech battlefield we have guide missile packed with explosive warhead that have become the devastating weapon of choice to destroy target swiftly and with amazing accuracy our aim in this project is to study how to design a control system especially on missile control system using sign lab and to understand on how to design the bot plot of missile control system using sign lab next how the system work the flat control system in one element in the missile homing loop the initial missile motion controlled by the flat control system combined with the target motion to form the relative geometry between the missile and target the terminal sensor measure the missile to target loss or line of sight angle the state estimator form as estimate of the loss angle rate which in turn is input to the guidance law the output of the guidance law is the steering command typically a translational acceleration the flight control use the missile to track steering command to achieve a target intercept ok a high performance missile control system need sophisticated control mechanism a model of a missile system with a cascade compensation network GC bracket S is shown in this figure the first task is we need to draw both plot of the system and determine the gain and phase margin of the system the, the compensator GC bracket S and the process 40 over S bracket S plus 4 bracket S plus 2 second is we are required to design a compensator and determine whether it lead or lag so that the phase margin will be at 30 degrees uh, in this project, we are allowed to use sign lab to proceed with our work. Hi, I am Haris Amani and I will tell you about our transfer function for our missile control system. Uh, based on our transfer function, we will get that our zeros is none from our numerator and then our poles are from the denominator which has uh, uh, pole uh, zero which is at origin and another two pole at negative five and negative two and from our transfer function we will simplify until we get four over s times s over five plus one 
times x over 2 plus 1 which from our numerator 4 is equal to our constant k and from our constant uh, we convert it into decibel which we get uh, 12.04 decibel from uh, calculating by 20 log 10 times 4 which we will get 12.04 decibels and that's from our manual calculation we take the value of from the transfer function where we receive the pole and constant we will transfer them into uh, plotting our asymptotic border plot and from the from the magnitude plot uh, where our z plot uh, intersect with the zero magnitude we will see the blue cutted uh, vertical line uh, is our great gain crossover frequency extension line where the right of it is the phase crossover frequency extension line which is our uh, where we get the value to calculate our gain margin where the gain margin is 0 minus 4 0 minus negative 4 we get 4 that is our gain margin and for our phase plot from the plotting of our phase plot uh, we get that the red vertical line is our intersection of our exact border plot uh, and to the left of it is a vertical blue line uh, where we will get our phase margin by uh, calculation which is uh, 180 degrees minus with 162 where we get our phase margin of 18 and that is all for our calculation and our asymptotic border plot for our next calculation in searching for our Femas and Omega M we will go through the silent simulation to get the more exact value of gain margin and phase margin okay. Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Nur Akmal bin Yusuf. I'm from RK20. Uh, today I want to present about the coding inside lab to determine the bulk plot of the system and the and determine the gain and phase margin of the system. Okay, first the the question given. Uh, the question is 40 over s multiplied by s plus 5 multiply by s plus 2 okay. uh, first we have to declare the s and then the numerator given is 40 for the denominator part for the denominator part and then for the whole equation equation G okay. this is the graph we have got the graph and then uh, we have to find the gain and the phase margin of the system okay. so the gain and the phase margin Uh, 
equal to this nineteen first. Face margin is 15.272026 and the gain crossover frequency is 0 0.373651 and then for the gain margin For the gain margin, we get 4.8607610 and then for the phase crossover frequency, we get 0 0.5032921. Uh, this the graph. Hello, I'm Wanabas Ansari with the matrix number. 17102957 I'll be presenting about the compensator design for this project okay there are two types of compensator the lead compensator and the lag compensator we have chosen the lead compensator for this missile control system from the silent value we have obtained that the gain crossover frequency is 0 0.373657 degree the phase margin is 15.272026 degree when you multiply the gain crossover frequency by 2 pi you obtain the omega m which is 2.347 radian the additional phase is 30 degree minus 15.27 degree which is equal to 14 Point seven three degree. The free max is fourteen point seven three degree plus fifteen degree, which is equivalent to twenty nine point seven three degree. We can use another equation to equate the twenty nine point seven three degree with free max, which is inverse sine alpha minus one over alpha plus one. Okay, from this equation we can ob obtain the alpha okay equate the alpha minus 1 over alpha plus 1 equal to sine 27 sine 29.73 degree when you you will get the value 0 0.496 for the sine 29.73 degree multiply both sides with a multiply both sides with a alpha plus one and then you obtain alpha minus one equal to 0 0.496 alpha plus 0 0.496 we arrange the equation so that the alpha on the left side and the one without variable on the right side after you rearrange it alpha equal to 1.496 over 0 0.504 which is equivalent to 2.968 and now we know that omega m is equal to 1 over tau square root alpha tau is also equal to the time constant when you insert the alpha value and the omega value that we have already obtained we can rearrange the equation and obtain the tau value which is 0 0.247 and now that we have the tau value and the alpha value we'll, we'll insert it into the transfer equation for the lead compensator network transfer function which is 1 plus alpha tau s over 1 plus tau s ok after we insert it we'll obtain the transfer function 
1 plus 0.733S over 1 plus 0247S. Okay, that's all. I hope everyone can understand the content of our video. Thank you.